them. There's not enough ships out there, and we're already hard-pressed to keep patrolling the regions under our jurisdiction. I'm afraid we're going to lose it all. There's just not enough ships and too much territory to cover. We're still rebuilding from the war with Malik, and sometimes I wonder if we'll ever recover. Still, we have our orders, and the Republic's put the highest priority on this mission. Looks like the trouble on Onderon will have to wait. As ordered, we've picked up the passengers from the Outer Rim and have made quarters for them. Once aboard, we've plotted a course for Telos. We expect to arrive within 10 standard days, provided there's no mishaps. I've been ordered to give the passenger no special treatment, nor make any indication of her identity. I have some reservations about turning the Harbinger into a passenger liner, but the orders were clear. Whoever this passenger is, she's got diplomatic level priority, whether she knows it or not. We picked up a distress signal and are sending a message to the Republic for permission to investigate. We have also transmitted the damaged vessel's ID signature to the Republic. According to the message, it's being pursued by Sith forces. There is no match for the vessel in our databanks, but the profile of the distress signal suggests it's a stock freighter of some kind. We'll only know for sure when we arrive, and we'll find out if the signal's genuine or a trap. We wanted to check with you, sir, before diverting course from Telos. There appears to be some battle that has taken place in the sector, and we've received a distress signal. You have permission to divert course, Captain. If there's a Sith presence in the region, I want you to investigate. The ID signature on the freighter, did you get confirmation on it? Yes, sir. We did not have the vessel listed in our databanks, so we transmitted the code to you. Was there a match? There was, Captain. If you find any trace of that vessel, even wreckage, I want it. Yes, sir. After you've investigated the sector, resume course to Telos with the passenger. It is of the highest importance that she reach Telos. Yes, sir. I'll make sure she arrives intact. Good hunting, Captain. Admiral Nassi out. <sighs> Sometimes I wonder if the right hand of the Republic knows what the left hand is doing. I'm always being kept in the... D Query. You sent for me, Captain. Yes. I need you to check on the passenger again, see if there's anything she needs. Try not to be too obvious about it. Her safety is our top concern. Statement. I shall use the utmost discretion, Captain. As always, it is my pleasure to serve.
feeling about this. Don't you feel it? Something's gonna get real wrong real quick. You don't survive on the rim as long as I have without knowing when trouble's coming. Alright, don't say I didn't warn you. Trust me. When it comes to staying alive, I'm rarely wrong about these things. This battle is mine alone. I am not defenseless. He cannot kill what he cannot see, and power has blinded him long ago. Run! I shall be along shortly. Say the word. Thank <laughs> you. 
What is it? Tell me you're joking. We are not going to cross back into the Paragas facility through the fuel line. That's crazy. All right, but I know I'm going to regret this. I sent you, my master. Faint. Weak. Your senses betray you, as you betrayed me. After all that's happened, still you live. You are difficult to kill. For one as limited as you, perhaps. To have fallen so far and learned nothing, that is your failing. The failure is yours. No longer do your whispers crawl within my skull. No longer do I suffer beneath teachings that weaken us. And now you run in search of the Jedi. They are all dead, save one. And one broken Jedi cannot stop the darkness that is to come. Perhaps. We shall see. Ah. What's wrong? Are you all right? Damn it, hold on. It's only a little farther. Don't give up on me now. What happened to you? You look fine. Come on. We need to keep moving. It's a utility droid. Looks like it's been hit with an ion charge and dumped here.
I hear you. Say the word. What is it? What? I hear you. I hear you.
This door's magnetically sealed. I can't believe this. The ship's right out there, and we can't get to it. Huh? What is that piece of junk saying? How can you even understand that noise? Alright, well, if he can slice the door open from the terminal above, don't let me stop him. What is it? I hear you. Just say the word.
We're gonna need some time to fire up the engines. Let's give the laser turret a workout. company. Let's get out of here. There is no time. We must leave.
if they hit us, we're dead. But if they keep missing us, we're dead. It's great odds. Somebody shut that trash compactor up! I'm doing all I can, and that's not enough. What'd you do to make these guys so mad? Well, either they hit us and destroy us, or they hit an asteroid and make the whole field go Nova. Not with all these asteroids around us. We'd enter hyperspace in pieces. We have to clear that field first. Thing is, we clear the field and they're gonna have a clear shot at us. What are the asteroids? They can be destroyed by us as well as them, can they not? That'll take out the whole field, the colony, and maybe us. We might not even be able to jump to hyperspace in time. Then we die here. Choose now. Hold on! This is gonna get a little rocky. Well, now that we just killed a planet, maybe one of you can tell me what's going on. Because between assassin droids, a Sith Lord that looks like he sleeps with vibroblades, and being target practice for a Republic warship, I was better off in my cell. The Republic warship was the Harbinger. It was seized on its way to Telos by the Sith. They sought you, Jedi. Yes, to aid in the recovery effort there. Many roads lead to Telos, including ours. Not like we have much of a choice, the Paragus astrogation charts being what they are. It is where we must go, and where the Harbinger was bound before our unfortunate encounter on Paragus. You were difficult to find, but coincidence was on our side. When I learned that you were on the vessel, I knew the Sith would not be far behind. When we intercepted the Harbinger, it was crippled, drifting in space. It was a simple matter to board the vessel and rescue you. Unknown to me, however, the Sith were already on board. Just as we made the jump to hyperspace, they fired upon us, nearly destroying the Ebon Hawk. Whatever occurred on board the Harbinger had rendered you unconscious. Though your thoughts were faint, I was still able to find you sealed in one of the cargo holds. True. But as one trained in the Force... You know that true coincidences are rare. I do not know how the Ebon Hawk was able to make it to per Be silent. We're having a conversation here. Repaired this ship, my eye. Next thing you know, it's going to claim credit for saving our skins. If that little noisemaker says it repaired the ship once, then it can prove it by doing it again. Go on, get! Because you are the last of the Jedi. Once you are dead, then they have won. Exile or not, the Sith believe you to be a Jedi Knight, and that is all that matters. The Jedi's civil war destroyed the Jedi. By the war's end, barely a hundred Jedi remained. Many fell in battle, and many more were seduced by Revan's teachings. The Jedi Academy on Dantooine is nothing more than a crater that echoes with the ghosts of dead Jedi, and the Jedi Temple on Coruscant lies empty. The waters in the Room of a Thousand Fountains have fallen still in reverence to the fallen Jedi and those now lost. Many Jedi blamed the teachings of the Jedi Masters for Revan's fall, and the civil war that followed. Perhaps, but they are Jedi no longer. If the Sith have not already slain them, then they will not help you, nor can you help them. That is not an easy question to answer. This threat is greater than you know, and I do not believe it is a battle that can be fought. Look, enough with the Wii already. We cannot hope to triumph against them alone. To stop them, you will need weapons, allies, and a teacher. 
In the end, I fear it may not be enough. You fought in the Mandalorian Wars, and it cost you everything. Are you willing to sacrifice as much again? You are not listening to me. This is not like any field of battle you have ever fought in. Think carefully on your choice. If you choose to fight, if you choose war, it is a path few turn from once the first steps are taken. It carries with it a terrible price. And in the end, you may find you have nothing left to sacrifice. Oh, like so many Jedi, you hear, but you do not listen. You have much to learn. But we have spoken long enough and my wound pains me. If you have other questions, find me in the crew quarters. There we will speak more. Hey, don't stop your long, boring rants on my account. I was just getting sleepy-eyed. Also in private, we will be mercifully free from the opinions of imbeciles and fools. Look, uh, not like I care or anything, but you might want to go check on our passenger, especially with that hand of hers. I think she was barely keeping it together. I'm surprised she's able to stand with all that pain rolling off of her. Are you blind? If I were her, I'd be screaming like a stuck Minoc. Well, I mean, a very strong, manly Minoc. I think she's just too proud to show any weakness. Especially in front of you. In case you hadn't noticed, she won't say two words to me. But she'll talk your ear off any chance she gets. What you think matters to her. A lot. She wants you to respect her. Besides, we haven't got much else to do until Telos. Oh, don't give me that. All it takes is being around people enough to read them. You should try it sometime. <laughs>